you guys already know your Bibles probably better than most believers do. That's why you are non-believers. I wish we could get back to the Bible, the good book. After all, that's where all the goodness comes from. All right, well, let's say you have a disobedient child. I just thought this picture was funny. I mean, I... What do you do to a disobedient kid in the year 2015? Uh, you know what? I'm taking your iPhone for a whole day. No car for you. You're grounded. Extra chores. Something along those lines. That's how we deal with disobedience today. But how do we deal with it in the good old days of Scripture? Well, in the book of Deuteronomy... 21, 18, if someone has a stubborn and rebellious son who does not obey his father and mother and will not listen to them when they discipline him, his father and mother shall take hold of him and bring him to the elders at the gate of his town. They shall say to the elders, this son of ours is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey us. He is a glutton and a drunkard. And then all the men of the town are to stone him to death. You must purge the evil from among you. Imagine going to your neighbor. Hey, Steve, hey, you know, is Philip home and Bob? Little Susie, she's just back talking and she just won't do what I tell her. So we're going to take her out here to the middle of the yard and we're going to stone her till she's dead. You guys got a minute? <laughs> How insane is that? 